First question goes to Manyet from uh, Sports Kita Esports. In the past, you have been a part of teams that have had an IGL of their own, but that's not the case for this roster. Has that been a difficult thing to adjust to, especially during crucial matches like today's? Um, it's been hard for sure because, like, I'm really not used to it. From having an one IGL, now we have like five IGLs, but the team have been really taking care of me so much, and I'm happy with I'm happy with it. Great. Um, next question goes to Alex from Valo to Asia Wandi. What was discussed in the two timeouts on split to get the team back into momentum? I mean, the first time out, I told them what to do. And the second time out, I told them what to do again. That's what I said in the first time out because they forgot. Um, we basically told, yeah, these guys are all laughing now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we basically, they, we basically uh, just tried to identify the play style and then uh, come up with some solutions for it. And um, I mean, I think uh, Jason took over after that and he did a really good job telling everyone where he wants the utility to go. And then it became a lot easier for us after that. Thank you. Next question goes to Manyet from Valo to Asia Wandi. Did the gestures by Heretics light a fire inside you and all other PRX members? And how big of a confidence boost uh, does this win for you going into the next matchup? I mean, when we lose the second map, like they throw like some trash talk that. I mean, it's a tournament game, you know, it's normal to trash talk each other. But outside the game, I think we've, I think we're really fine with it. So. And uh, I want to say sorry to every fans from Heretics and uh, overall to to the world. I will say because I'm a professional player, I cannot do that. I cannot put my finger middle to the opponents. It's my bad. Uh, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, and Manyet, the second part of the question was how big of a confidence boost was this going into the next matchup? Uh, I think not really because on the game, I think you just forgot about it. Okay. Um, moving to remote media questions, uh, Ganesh at Strafe. Uh, this is to coach Alex primarily, but everyone. Uh, Heretics are one of the only teams that run Neon as a primary duelist on multiple of their maps, especially Lotus. You obviously won out Sunset, but uh, but it was still a difficult match. It was not very, you know, very convincing. It was same on Lotus where it seemed do you, it seemed like you guys might win it, but then they some rounds and they some rounds went their way and they won it and forced the third map. Do you think Neon is one of the reasons why it's so hard for the teams to counter them? I mean, it's part of the problem, but then I think the fact this Heretics is a very well-drilled team, you know. Yeah. Like if you watch them play Sunset and you watch them play Lotus, they really know what they're doing. And, um, you know, when a team is that well-drilled and they're the only team in the world to use Neon, they really know, like, they have everything figured out, you know, and we have to, and we have to adapt to it. Um, sometimes, you know, the game plan goes wrong. I, I thought that in Lotus, because we have Cypher, it should be slightly easier for, for our Cypher to, to pick him off. But I think they played around the Cypher extremely well. So I think yeah. that's, yeah, credit to them. Yeah. Uh, sorry, as a follow-up, do you think uh, a lot of teams, uh, PaperX is known for the aggression, the speed, uh, and uh, this uh, and the Neon pick really offsets the speed. It also increases momentum themselves. Do you think sometimes that increases the tempo of the game overall that the te both teams get a uh, both teams are very fast paced, so team the, the game gets very fast paced and it just keeps on increasing. And people might get blindsided. Do you think that happens sometimes? Yeah, I mean, of course. But I wouldn't say the Heretics is an incredibly fast team. I think yeah. they, I think they, they have fast strats and they use yeah. it very, very well. Um, you know, and we are the same. I don't think we have been as fast as last year, to be honest. With yeah. You. So, um, we. You know, we enjoy this pace, you know. It's it's good pace yeah. for us. I think uh, we came out on top in the end and it was a really fun game for us. Yep. Thank you so much. Next question from Arnold the Spike. Hi. Uh, congratulations, guys. Uh, my question is actually open for everyone. I want to understand, like, uh, do you think the, uh, the momentum which you guys uh, got on split uh, after winning last four rounds on the uh, attacking up? leads to the uh, continuation in defense and how uh important was sky during 
uh, uh, sky pick uh, in your def- uh, defensive round? Uh, okay, so the first question is about momentum carry on for the rest of the tournament? Yeah, uh, for the rest of the uh, map in split after oh, winning. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, if, if if this game is very short sometimes, and sometimes, you know, when it's kind of like a brawly kind of game, like where teams are just trading rounds, the momentum is really important. I do think that, like, just winning some crucial rounds, like some really, really good reads from uh, Forsaken and something, I think they, they, they call it the right round, like, two or three times in a row, you know, it gives the team immense confidence. And that's definitely what helped us close the game off. Uh, and the next question is about Sky. So, I mean, look, uh, the triple duties thing is, is is a work in progress. Huh? So the only thing we could do is just go back to Sky and hope this hope this is for the best. Uh, we do think that, I mean, our, our first thought was that Sky is going to be nerfed to the ground, so we didn't want to play her anymore. But it's looking that uh, it's a little bit impo- more important, you know. So we have, we have switched Sky back on split, and I managed to be good for us today. Um, yeah, I guess it's not as bad as I thought. Just follow up on that. Uh, like you said, it's not as bad as you thought. But do you think uh, there could have been a better initiator? Or... No, I, think, I think Casey used Fate very, very uniquely um, on Split, no Sky. So, I mean, teams are trying stuff out, you know, like like Heretics was using just Solo Breach. Um, even then, the game was close and it gave us a lot of trouble in the first half. Um, I think it's a wait and see kind of thing, you know. Eventually, there'll be either a dominant initiator or everyone will be trying things out for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, I have, I have no opinion on it. We'll we, we just have to wait and see. Thank you, and best of luck for tomorrow. Next question from Pedro. Hey, guys, congrats on the win. Um, you sort of touched already touched yeah. upon, you know, talking about agents. Uh, Alex, and this question goes to you. Just more so looking at the decision to go from triple duelist to now going to double duelist and just switching around the agents for 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 um certain people in that recent match against um um team heretics them being you know forsaken to raise and then divide sky and ammonia to omen um what, what was the, the rationale in just trying and just making that decision to switch to a different um composition for this next go around um with heretics after and playing that triple duelist with EDG in the previous game. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I could say it's a grand plan where we bait people into picking split. But um, the truth is, like, I think as Jason touched on it, um, that we just felt it wasn't working, you know, and maybe it's a, maybe it's only really, really good on Pacific. Uh, even then, you know, like the games were close in Pacific when we played it. Um, I mean, we, we just looked at the, we just looked at the script, we just looked at the, um, the game, and we're like, okay, look, it's an absolute disaster at the moment. Like, uh, we're not playing to the comp strengths, even if there, if there is any, you know, or, or at least we weren't following what we believed in. And you know, because of that, we're like, okay, look, if they pick split, we're in trouble. So we might as well just change and just go for it. Thank you. Next question from Esports Driven. Thank you. Uh, first of all, congrats on the win, guys. Um, so you will be playing against a second EMEA team tomorrow. So what did you learn today that will help you tomorrow for the player spot? Uh, I don't know. EMEA is good, but uh, to be honest, I, I mean, I, I think that I think they're a bit different. Um, uh, I don't know. To be they're a bit you. faster this year, no? I I mean, definitely EMEA was faster this year than last year. I think. Also, I think Carmine Corp, you know, they they just as well drilled as heretics. So, I want a lot of trap, I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess they're gonna trap. I think when it comes to EU team, there's a lot of trapping, you know, like trap here, trap there, trap here, trap there. Though you gotta figure out, it's like playing like it's like cat and dog, you know. You gotta figure out where the trap is. Then yeah, maybe go opposite. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Miguel Corrigo Esports. Hello, uh, first, uh, congratulations for the wings. Uh, my question is for Mindfleet. Uh, what mistake did the team uh, on Lotus uh, for defeat? Um, are mistakes common in paper rex? Sorry, can you repeat the question again? Okay, uh, what mistake uh, did the team in Lotus Map? Uh, what mistake? Okay. What mistake? Uh-huh. Did what mistake? Did for me in lotus lotus yeah i'm the mistake uh, <laughs> uh, our mistake uh, common in paper rex 
Sorry, the second part is. Okay, uh, maybe we just run through the mistake. Uh, I will say. I think we didn't double up, right? No, like, I think we are trying too hard to win the game on the CT. We should have, like, put, like, two guys in C side, but it is what it is, I would say. Okay. We tried, no? But the bottom line was I think we were trying too hard to win on the second map rather than like staying composed on the situation. Thanks. Uh, Chitaku? Um, hello guys. Uh, first of all, congratulations for the win. And my question goes to to Alex. Uh, we have seen in the Masters that you have been able to Denny your style of play, both with EDG and Tina Rex today. Do you think it, it is necessary to change a little that style or of play, or do you think that keeping this style you can evolve in several things? Thank you. Yeah, I think um. It's a work in progress, you know, like this year's a new roster, you know, and every every time you change a roster, you know, you have to you have to really like figure it out again. Um the chemistry is is not as best yet. And we're really working very hard to just get to know each other better and to be like better teammates to each other and better players in the server. Um unfortunately, you know, like we have to change some comps and that usually slows some processes, you know, like instead of being ready to like work on our our mistakes, we have to like restart from scratch. Uh but we are trying very, very hard to make sure it works. As for the style, I mean I you will see a different style this year, you know, like every year it's going to grow. The meta changes every year and we're going to change as well. Okay, uh, thank you so much and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ichiman. Hi, guys. Uh, congratulations. My question is for, for Seikin. I would like to know what exactly did you mean when you said the composition of three dialists only works on Pacific and therefore what kind of comp compositions are the ones that actually works here in Master Madrid? Yeah, I mean, we're calling you out, man. <laughs> I think the reason, the reason why I said it because usually in Pacific, it's like we can just fight with our aims, you know, but in like this tournament, it's like very hard, especially with that comp. Um, because we have no info, no initiator, so that's why we decided to go back. And what's the second question, sir? So what was the second question? Second part of the question. Uh, uh just just the uh, what kind of position will be the ones that work here? Yeah. Like? I mean, like normal complete like, normal. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are there any questions in the room? In a few words, if it's possible for everybody, um, what team you don't want to see face to face uh, for the next matches? Thank you. Who we do want to play? Yeah. DLG? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be to be fair, I think we don't want to play people from Pacific, you know, because we practice with them all the time, and it's always nice to see something new and more Our exciting experience. for everyone else. You know, nobody wants to see Pacific versus Pacific. Unless, unless it's finals, they'd be very, very happy. You know what they want to see? Sorry. Us versus DRX. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Yeah, so not, not Gen G if possible. Yeah, same thing for me. Thank you. No prom Pacific. Hi, guys. Uh, here, Teo from Sons of KS from Latin America. First of all, congratulations on your win. Thank you. This question is for Forsaken. On day one, on the media day, you said that you felt your team was on a six out of ten uh, compared to what you were performing last year. Do you feel that uh, on this week you've been working here and playing here, this level uh, or, or this gap, this six you said, could have improved? Hmm. I would say so. It will improve because the reason why I said six out of ten is because especially we have new member, right? And then we have to like 
start from zero again and then try to make him comfortable with um, our team, our playstyle, everything. But definitely for this tournament, I think we will improve and we just try to like um, trying to like figure out how to keep up with the team here, you know. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Lemo uh, from 360. And the question is for Alex and for someone of the team uh, who wants to answer. It's because in the last map, in the Decider and Spirit, uh, the team is starting to play only for A in, in the most of rounds and have the problem that Benefici stronghold the side no? and was difficult. Uh, you use a pause, no? And the question is, what's uh, speaking the past that you can say? And uh, for the team is, uh, what was the trigger or the or the call in game to change this and come back the the first time? So the first it, question for you and the second it's about what, for it's about what I said in the past, is it? So it's a defense. What attack. Attack, attack. when we were attack, I didn't, attack. I didn't pause in attack though. I have no more. You're, you're pausing in attack. Oh, attack. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're pausing in the round four, I think. Yeah, right, right. yeah I, I paused early because I forgot to tell them like that. I forgot to tell, you know, we make game plan and I forgot to tell them the game plan. So I paused to tell them that we need to go ramps on split a lot more. And then they did something else. So after that, we I paused again to remind them, you know, and then instead I gave them the chance to talk to each other a little bit and calm down. I think that's what we did. And yeah, they, they they were a little bit calmer after that. No. Certainly, the, the team uh, continued with playing two way in the muscle round. And uh, in the ma uh, middle of the side, you check, no? And you take mid and go to mm -hmm. go to B. And what was the reason or the call for make this chain? No? I think we're just trying our plans. And since Benji PC always in that position, you know, he never changed. So we just try to kill him and don't let him get momentum, you know? So. Yeah. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, guys. Uh, Northford from S3M. Uh, my Hello. question is for Seiken. Uh, we always see you uh, change the roles and champ. If you uh, can pick only one champ and only one role, what do you pick for the rest of your life? Change role? Yeah. No, if you can only uh, pick one, you get if you only one, pick one agent one, forever, for the rest of which one will you choose? I'll say Sentinel as one. I mean, I, I still love Yoru, you know. Uh, uh, Yoru, Yoru. Uh, I'm having okay. bad flashback. Yes. Flashback from Champions, yeah? You can see, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing those at that moment. Huh? You can yeah. see this trophy. Okay, guys, sorry. Don't bully me. Thank you. So what? So Sentinel. So what? Oh. No, Yoru, you should Yoru. Yoru, uh, okay. Yoru. Duelist. 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 <laughs> Thank you. And final question from Arnold the Spike. Hi. Uh, my question is actually again open for everyone. Uh, I just wanted to know that uh, how has been your experience playing this Swiss format since this has been the first time when you guys have played a lot of international tournaments with uh, the normal uh, uh, elimination, double elimination format. Has been how stressful it has been and how uh, different it has been compared to the previous format. Maybe Ilya can answer. Actually, it's hard uh, because the pressure is if you lose and uh, you need to play one more, and if you play one more if and you lose, you go to the home, so you must win every single game. Uh, I mean, it's good format for uh, for a new players, I guess, because you get a lot of experience. Because you you need to play like two or three games. You cannot play just one and go and go and go. Something like that, I guess. Yeah, I think um, the eight teams, you know, every team is good here. But if there were more teams, right, you could get really lucky somehow, you know. Hmm. And then you can, and then, and then maybe people don't like that, you know. Or you could have a really hard draw, you know. Like you could just play like every world champion, and then bye bye, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good and bad, I guess, but I think it's exciting. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was the final question. Congratulations today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.